Today I'm going to be installing this roof hatch up here. English is funny, isn't it? I call this a roof hatch, but I'm putting it in so I have access to my roof. So here's where it'll be on the inside. I just did this ceiling, and silly me, I forgot I was going to put this roof hatch in here. So I had to tear it back out, although it was, it was only about 10 minutes. And so I want that thing as far this way as I can. There's not a lot of room up there because my solar rack is back this way. Uh, so I'm going to drill, take an eighth inch drill, drill a hole through here. I think we're good, but just in case, right? A small hole, pilot hole. I'll go up there and see if it looks reasonable from up there. And if it looks reasonable from down here, it looks like that thing's going to fit. Then I'm going to lay out uh, the the hole. Okay, you can see this is quite a tight fit here. I've got these, uh, this is where the, the roof, uh, well I'd call it a rafter, I'm not sure what it's called in Metal World, but this comes across. You can see underneath there, so I don't want to interfere with that, but on the other hand this hatch has got to be able to open and clear this. So it's, it's, there's like one place and one place only where it's really going to fit correctly. And then otherwise I want to center it up here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay it out, make sure everything fits and uh, is centered and everything. And uh, I'm going to draw uh, lines in the corners at least. And then I'm going to uh, drill a hole in the corner and go downstairs and see if it looks reasonable from down there. As you can see I drilled a bigger pilot hole here. and. Uh, I'm going to use this guy. Here's an example of a Harbor Freight tool that's well worth it in my opinion. I know not all their stuff's the greatest, but I've used this thing quite a bit and it's awesome. It just cuts through something like that like butter. Just Okay, here we are on the top. I laid out the square that I want. Okay, and uh, that's about it. Let's see if I can... All right, well, thanks in advance for hoping it fits along with me. No turning back now, huh? And here's the view from the inside. Well, I'm going to take a quick coffee break. And then I'm going to see if that thing actually fits up there. Yay, it fits. All right. Yay, it fits. Shows how I turned out lucky. As you may recall, it couldn't have really gone much further toward the back. And as you can see, if it was any further forward, the uh, solar rack would be getting in the way of the hatch. So I just lucked out. I didn't plan it that way. It just turned out to be a perfect I'm putting this butyl tape around the perimeter. And you can get this, uh, I don't know, it's hard to find this at a hardware store, but an RV place will always have it. Ten bucks for this, which is more than I need for this job. Yeah, the stuff got so gooey it wouldn't peel. But uh, I put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. And now it's doing great. So if that happens to you, that's how to fix it. So then you peel the tape off the. Uh, Peel the little plastic thing off, and this stuff is kind of like uh, clay. So I made sure there were all the seams were covered, and uh, I'm about to put it down in there. Okay, now I'm screwing it down with these. This is what I'm using, number eight, inch and a quarter. They're a little long, but they'll work fine. I got these also, but I don't think these are long enough. These three-quarter inch. So I'm starting, you know, from the middle, each side, and kind of working my way around, trying to put it down evenly. All right, there it is.
Now, of course, you want to, uh, if you're doing something like this, make sure that you don't do this the other way and turn it into a suicide door. Because the first time you go driving and forget to shut it, it's going to blow off. Now I'll finish the inside later. Go to town. So what I was thinking is I might, um, I need to put a floor down on here. On the roof rack up here and then I could, uh, Maybe put some sort of uh, a tent kind of thing up here, a tarp. Anyway, I guess that's it for this time. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you next time. Have a good one.